Hey guys, it's me, Sienna, and we are here with part seven. Oh man, I think we're nearing the end. I I can't tell. Uh, we have Laura now. She's going to finish her story. I'm so excited. I need to find out what happened. I think you guys do too. Let's do it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. Let's say at each other. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we yeah. needed to get out of there. I'm sure that's super baffling for her. Obviously him, he has no idea. He has no wounds. That's so crazy. Does that mean Nick's gonna be okay then, maybe? Who knows? I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. Nah. Probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. <laughs> That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when... I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Oh gosh. Reckless curious. What if we get on his good side? I honestly don't even think that's possible. I'm gonna say we've gotta escape. You I'm know, a couple nice weeks. This fucker, mm -hmm. one second longer than mm -hmm. I have to. We've gotta escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out. Not. <laughs> Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? <laughs> yeah. Determined, reflective. I don't like this prison break idea, to be honest, because we don't know what Max is capable of. I mean, okay, so she has the brick. What is she gonna do? She's gonna smack him with the brick. And then how did the keys get in the treehouse? She brings them. Hmm. I don't know though, because it seems like it's gonna take a lot more time to get on his good side. I don't like the brain idea. Okay, fine. So we don't knock his brains out. I guess that means send friend request. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't nope. be violent. I wasn't saying that we shouldn't break his head open. Just that we might be doing a whole lot more than knocking him out. Let's just try the non-violent way first. Yeah, it's worth a shot. It's surprised I haven't tried it yet. So... All right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys are okay with my lights not being on. I don't know if I... Do you want me to turn them on? Should I turn them on? Let's turn them on. There we go. That's better. Uh, oh, God. We're good? I think we're good. I think we're... Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? <laughs> T-Money's the approach. Why? You 
can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? <laughs> I can think of seven. Oh. Understanding, skeptical. Understanding, skeptical. Uh. I'll be understanding. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. Well, now we're gonna have to gonna smack you in the head. And I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! You know what? It was worth a shot. We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. God, that's so creepy. Can you imagine being in that predicament? Like, as the officer Sam, and as them. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Oh my gosh. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Don't get too close. Yikes. Come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Nah. Down to 20. Over. What's going to happen? Well. I'll tell you, it's not going to be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. I mean, we do need to see it for ourselves. Well, that's not good. He looks really jacked up. So did he shoot? Did he shoot him in the head? Like I'm so confused. In the very beginning, the first episode, where did he shoot him? Okay, clinical, compassionate. I think I'd be compassionate. Do it looks I like he's going through it. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are you all right? I uh. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Oh, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. <sighs> Max? Gosh, does he claw her eye? That's gonna be. Ugh. Max, tell me what's going on. Even like werewolf, though. 
I don't think she was that. Oh. I didn't even think she was that close to the bar. Oh my god. What the actual heck? That's so nasty. Fuck! Oh, girl, I don't know if that would be my reaction. I'd probably just faint. I would honestly faint. Paper cuts make me want to faint, so... Laura about to be a baddie, though. For depth perception. Ah, things overrated. Oh, so she led. Uh, 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 wait, I'm confused. So she was like on the bar, right? It scratched her eye. Like, how did that let her out of the bar? D did I miss something? I'm probably blind. See that bastard cop's hiding. I got distracted by the whole eye thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I literally didn't see that. It just like busted the heck out of. Sorry, my bad. Sound dumb. You're so crazy, I just wanted to make sure you were still in there. <laughs> well, that's rude, Max. Oh, God. Alright, let's go see what's up. Oh, let's grab that brick if we can. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. How did- Oh god, oh god. Let's see what else is in here. Oops, I didn't mean to sit down. I thought she was gonna grab something. Okay, why would you go to sleep right now? What? Is there anything else in here? I mean, am I not allowed to grab that right now? What's going on? What? Why can't I, like, literally grab that? I'm so confused. Okay. Alright. What's up, everybody? Hmm. Wow. At least he was allowing them to shower and feeding them, you know? Girl's been through it, jeez. How is she this composed? What's he hiding? A lot, apparently. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can go upstairs, I guess? Locked. Figures? And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Why would you do that, though? Like, now's the time to get out. I just want to see it's up here. I see there's the exit sign over there. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. It's dad. Huh. Mama's boy. Huh. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. Okay. 
Okay. Might as well do some looking around, right? Nothing? For real? Am I tripping? Ah. What's this? It's like a charred... Is it charred? I was wearing this cap, you doing too well. Yeah, it is. Yikes. Okay. Anything? Have it on tap. You know what? That's so nasty. Oh god. I can hide this in my cell. I need to lie down. Girl, I know you need to sleep right now, but I don't know if that's a good idea. July 7th? Oh god. It's important. We're probably gonna have like a password or something we need to do. Oh god. I'm horrible at remembering numbers. July 7th. Okay. 7-7... Seven, seven. Uh, what was it? 56 or 65? I don't remember. I think he was born in 65. No. Am I dumb? Yes. She for real wants to go back to her cell right now? This exit really didn't work. It's messed up. That's a fire hazard. Fire safety hazard. All right. <clears throat> Back we go, I guess. It's kind of weird. I don't really like that, but I guess. Is there anything in this cell? No? Okay. Like, literally, why can we not get the freaking brick? Like, break a window or something, I don't know. We'll go to sleep. She doesn't need a rest, but gosh, that thing could break out, you know? You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I couldn't leave! Well, I'm not gonna leave him either. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Bruh. She needs medical attention. Me You made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yeah, bruh. Yes? 
guess, but it's really fucking hard to do. What the actual heck, y'all? Huh. <sighs> feel so bad for Laura. What's this? An education. I got him overalls. <laughs> Day 29. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. Well. You're the doctor. Should a good job? Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know. She has herself, she has herself together, though. You know, doesn't mean you know. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah. What? <laughs> I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. What? We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Curious, confident. How's your... I really want to know how his family's involved. Duh, but I don't think he's going to answer any of my questions. So let's just be confident and say let's end this. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go, and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. Well, you need to explain to You're her. You're seriously asking for my help? You know? I don't want you to help me. You're going to do this for Max, and I'm going to get what I need. Jeez. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. Oh, so we no might be able to fix shall Nick. You face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Jeez, it's crazy. No, I'm not going to take the gun. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, Leave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection. Damn, takes Dylan its was all right. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? <laughs> I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. 
kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. I'm sorry, those are the scariest werewolves I've ever seen. If you can kill a werewolf, and that's a big F. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Confused, concerned, why didn't you kill it? Am I infected? I'd be kind of concerned that I'm infected, yeah. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches oh, don't do it. Oh, that's bucks. good. You look Are so you sure funny in overalls. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty sure. Cynical, encouraging. I don't believe you, so what's the plan? Encouraging, might as well. I think she would have turned by now, right? So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. Ah. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Dang, that's crazy. Seen enough? Poor Max. I mean, obviously he has no control over it. Hopefully cure him and Nick. That'd be awful if they only allow us to cure one of them. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't. Yeah. I wouldn't believe I him either. Seen that. Resigned, apprehensive. Girl, you saw him turn into that beast thing. I would say I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Like, why are they keeping yeah. her hostage, though? I don't get it. I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. I'm pathetic. Was I? We know it was I him, obviously. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. Promise. I promise. Dang, that's crazy. I really hope the best for both of them, but. I know they're in there. Who? Chris! Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. My gosh! Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here, that's fucked up! Fuck 
Smooth, smooth girl. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Take your lucky stars. It wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Were those know. hikers? And that 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 fucking. Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. My gosh, the story's unraveling, y'all. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Plot twist, guessed. baby! I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother! God, it's so obvious! If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. My God! I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. No! Deputy Dewey! Hey! hey. <gasps> help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura? Uh. Laura, are you okay? Uh. Oh god, I'm not ready. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Laura! Uh. Oh god. Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Stressed, demanding, apologetic. I, you know what? It's so hard because he was trying to protect us. It's, I'm still apologetic. I still I'm kind sorry, of feel bad. But I do. Let's just talk about it. You nope. had your chance to talk. Been in there for a month. Keys. Okay. Okay. I don't trust him. <sighs> oh my gosh. He has like a spare, doesn't he? I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Heck yeah. Come on. Laura? Oh, please God. think about what you're doing. My God, what is he doing? Not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. Ugh. He still has his radio, he's just gonna... I'm gonna apologize. I'm sorry. We know that he was doing it for a good reason, so... Actually, while well, keeping her in there, 
I don't really know what the point of that was. I get it from his perspective, but that's really annoying. <laughs> like, we're the supper, baby. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? Creepy. I thought I heard someone. Where the heck did she get the eye patch from? It's coming from behind that door. Oh, wow. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. Ah. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Gosh, that's so crazy. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> True, but you're not. Until Chris is dead. Hell yeah, we are. As much as I like to be reassuring, dude, this is like the first step to the whole process, so... Let's just be kind. He, I'm sure he knows already. Oh yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now... Two months, wow. We're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing Chris Hackett. Gosh. I'm just thinking, like, if the decision really does come down to it, I don't know if that's going to be something that we're presented with, but... I don't know what I would choose. Like, I really like Lara's character, but I want Abby to be happy. And I think Nick's a good guy without, you know, everything going on. And I made my way here to the camp. Left nice. Left the island seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. Okay, so that was Max over there. That's it. That's the story. I mean, they have to believe her, obviously. And then at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Honest, reassuring. Well, we know that. Emma's fine. They're not there now. What is that? Like, like they're dead? Like, they're not there? I'm going to say reassuring. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. She looks so familiar Poking to me. Like, she looks like someone I know in person. I can't Jacob's even name. pinpoint it. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris. Um, My gosh. I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. She looks so cool, though. Th that would be such a cool cosplay. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, you guys let me know. Maybe I'll do a poll on the community tab.
Max? Can't pinpoint how far along we are. Max. I'm gonna assume we're getting towards the end because we have a full explanation of what's going on and just need to make sure Jacob and Emma are okay. Max? <gasps> Hello? Oh. God, I hate those things. Gosh! The design! It's like demonic. Well, that was the best thing for... Oh. Maybe it wasn't. Did it knock him out, at least? Ugh. Don't like that. It's so creepy. I really want to do the couch co-op or the um the party mode of this game where we can vote. <gasps> I think that'd be so much fun. Oh my god, you guys, the team? Whoever so the came up with the concept art for that Kevin thing? Chris. That wasn't a werewolf, it was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Show bite, hide bite? She got bit? No! What is, where'd she get bit at? Well, let's show them. I'd rather be honest. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. She kind of reminds me of uh, Claire Redfield from um, Resident Evil. I think that's who I'm thinking of, maybe. Or at least her reminded of. <gasps> Lin Shay! Oh my god, Lin Shay! I'm so happy! She's so cute. So this is our new game. Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. Dumb fucking animal. Man, that's horrifying. I'm so oh, happy she's God, in this, though. Let me though. go! Let me fucking go! Oh, Get your hands off me! He's been, like, uh, naked the whole time, too. Pleading, threatening, pleading. Please let me go! Okay, I didn't mean for this to happen, please! Please! Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? <laughs> oh, 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 is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like, lots of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. I'm like a big baby. <laughs> oh, Jesus <geez>, Christ! <laughs> I mean, it's not bit, you know? That's too, Bobby. Gosh, what the heck? Hey! I didn't think this was gonna happen to him. Hey, hey where are you going? Hey! Hey! Careful 
Oh my god. Okay. Wow. It's always nice to see. You. Isn't it fun? This we got the tarot card. The They're a bad lot, aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found? Uh, do I want to take a look? The chariot. The reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? I'm curious, when you guys played this, what did you pick most of the time? Like, I wonder if some of you guys just did see more like once and you're like, uh, or you did move on once. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Wow, well, let me know. <sighs> that didn't tell me nothing. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Well, I'm trying my darndest, lady. Alrighty. Let's see. I've been trying to make them an hour long, guys, so bear with me. Chapter 7 just ended. We're on chapter 8. Is this the last chapter? Probably not. I'm going to say they're probably going to chapter 10. I mean, that makes sense. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Why is she not amputating? She murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. They have a chainsaw. Commanding, uncertain. Uh, she's been through a lot. Let's be uncertain and ask Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, I think wow. Ryan would have done that anyways. On the leadership front. I said, shut up. <laughs> oh no way! I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Just. Think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Yeah, exactly. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Unconvinced. Curious. Curious. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. Suspicious, aggressive. Why does she care about her bracelet? I don't even know what's on her bracelet, to be honest. Suspicious. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Ah, Worst silver. Scenario, Duh. This should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Well, at least we have it. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather her have the so, gun. Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Guarded mean. Guarded. I don't like why would you be mean? What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here. 
He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. That Dude. does look awfully creepy. What? Sarcastic, compassionate. Uh, I don't want to be sarcastic, but yeah, I mean, if he was asking if there was another way, I could see that. Uh, yeah, compassionate. I would, I would more compassionate Listen, than sarcastic. There could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Hey, don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Friendly, aggressive. Oh, I think Ryan would be friendly, but... Yeah, I guess he'd be friendly. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay in. She's gonna think tonight. he's just he getting in our way, safe. though. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? My gosh. It was a stolen cop car. Girl, we needed that. You're going to have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Well, shucks. We're going to take a pause right here. If you guys like this video, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. I'm definitely going to put a poll to see if you guys want the cosplay or not. That would be so freaking cool, to be honest. Um, thank you, patrons. Thank you guys for your support. If you want to join my Patreon, I'll link you guys a link down below. And yes, I will see you in the next part. Bye, guys.